Okay, a quick video on um, 21J. Um, let's drag up the, uh, the change log. Um, Vax through setting. Right, okay. Uh, options. Audio. Fax slew setting now updated. Yes, the slew time was not being applied in 21i or before. Um, so that's no fix. We got a whole bunch more controls which can be defaulted by clicking on the default button. And you can hover over these for more info. You can left click them to make the tooltip stay up for 10 seconds or so. The VAR ratio that's being calculated is stored here and if you have these ticked on and that's saved uh, when you shut down or whatever and when you have that ticked on um, whenever you enable the VAC it will uh, prime the system with these values so it'll initialize with the with the old VAR ratio I haven't seen any benefit from it but um, it's done anyway I'd probably have to Get a bit more info off Warren if we need to do something else, but uh, still waiting on that. Uh, Penny now to uh, so previously, uh, general OC control when you had TX on VFOB, um, um, if you say you were on 40 meters there, as I am on VFOB, and you had TX on VFOB. Penny would not, uh, the system would not recognize that as the band that you're on for assigning these pins to the output connector. Um, so strange things could happen, but that's now considered now. Um, if that's on TX, then the band on the TX will be um, that band. I need to actually thinking about it. I need to check that it's not used when it's in receive. I didn't really check that when I was looking at it, but I will do that. Um, okay, labels on VFO box up here. The small labels which you get to display uh, there it used to show RX2 or whatever. So you've got RX2 up. You change it to like you know whatever different to uh, VFO B. It would stay. Uh, but now it uh, tracks uh, what's in VFO A because you can't have a split um, like this with different uh, mode and stuff. So that's sorted. The uh, meter returning to um, the correct one if you, when you come out of tune is now uh, resolved. Uh, if in Digi L and U. Uh, when you change a TX profile, say you're already in, uh, I can show it quickly, set up, uh, uh, DSP, CFC, CFC amongst other things, um, get turned off when you enter into a digi mode, so if your profile sets them on for like lower upper side band, when you go digi Uh, to the profile that was last used on DigiU, it will also um, switch off a whole bunch of stuff. So even if you updated this data to include uh, this being switched on, just entering DigiU would actually load that profile in and then switch it off. Uh, so just keep that in mind. Profile. It would load the profile in and then turn the stuff off which it didn't used to do. Um, what else? Yeah, we've, uh, when, and, uh, yeah, so if you were to use a transverter or set a new transverter up that didn't have any band stack entries and you hadn't gone to a previous frequency that was within that transverter range, it would take you to 0, 0.0 meg or 0 meg. Um, which uh, is now fixed so it will take you to the center of a um, via uh, a transverter range if there are no stack entries or you haven't been to a frequency in that transverter range um, additional advanced audio settings exposed yeah well we had a quick look at those <laughs> good luck uh, changing all that stuff <laughs> uh, 
Um, so yeah, that's there. Okay, the TX pinout stuff. That has uh, gone through a bit of a rework. Uh, I covered it in a in another video, but we'll just go through it again quickly. So output control pin, which are the seven pins um, on the back of the radio, which you can um, essentially take high when certain conditions are met. So we're on 80. So I will say set pin five high when we're in receive, which we are. So I'll receive pin. Set pin 5 high, so if we were to enter uh, MOX now, whatever, will disappear just for the fact that we're in a transmit. Um, for instance, now I'll say set pin 6 high when we transmit, so when we go into transmit, pin 6 will light up, red, 2 tone, tune, because pin 6, which is the transmit pin, Pin 6 here is defined as MOX, TUNE or TWO-TONE. If you wanted it to happen in MOX only, so don't key your amp when you hit TUNE or TWO-TONE, you'd pick that option. So if we hit two, uh, TUNE, it doesn't light up. If we hit TWO-TONE, it doesn't light up. But if we hit MOX, it does. So that's that option. And you can do any combination, roughly, thereof. There's also this other option now, external PA which when any of these are ticked on, be it there, there or there, an extra button will appear um, over this side. Only in expanded mode at the moment. Expanded mode doesn't appear in compressed or collapsed. Uh, so that appears there. And you can, this is like a, a, a global override. So at the moment it's unlit or unselected. Which means, even though we mox with all that set up as it was before, pin 6 will not engage. But with this selected, like so, it will now. So you can essentially use that as like a PA override without having to bring this all this stuff up. You don't want to use your PA even though it's all configured to use it here. You could uh, just set that off. Um, so that's that. And there are options for that it's cat and midi um zzup will give the current state of the button zzup1 will set it on and of course if we um uh where are we oc control so if we were to um Mox here, it would go red, of course, because that is on. But uh, said that up zero will have the effect of switching off, and you can uh, switch this off and on on the fly as well. So, if your amp's keyed and you don't want it to be, you can switch it off in the middle of a, uh, a transmit. So, that's that. And there's a MIDI button, a MIDI uh, thing added for it as well. Um, RX2 and RX1, RX1, RX2, mute on VAC, so if you hit the mute button here, uh, you'll mute your VAC. Diversity form has got an on top option, always on top. Tune step is stored against mode, so there is a new option, uh, general options. Recover tune step per mode for RX1. Now with that ticked off, it behaves exactly as it was, so if we set 25, we change to CW, we're on 25. If you switch that on, and you go to CW for instance, and you change CW down to say 2 Hz, and you bring USB up to 100, lower uh, LSB 100 as well, and back to CW, we're at 2 hertz step. Now, this is only really um, stored when you um, have selected a mode on the RX1 uh, receiver. Because there is no way to know um, 
essentially it, it can get confusing when you when you have RX2. For instance, if I was to if I was to select leave USB on there, but select CW on here, um, I would then have to. Uh, <laughs> Essentially, it would be set at 2 hertz up here on the USB mode of RX-1, so it, it kind of conflicts, so I've just decided to ignore everything uh, with RX-2 uh, for now. So if we were to switch to uh, DigiCW, there we go, 2 hertz on that one, 10 hertz on that one. So yeah, you can you can change the step per, per mode, but it only relates to RX-1, so keep that in mind. Um, What else? Um, 1 dB MIDI waterfall option, and we've covered the cat stuff, so MIDI, cat control MIDI, there's a little checkbox there that will change the 3 dB step to 1 dB step. Uh, so that's it. Um, uh, for now, uh, just bear in mind that these are changed, and especially the VFOB stuff. So just bear that in mind um, and ensure that your pins are behaving as you'd expect and it's viewable here, of course. Um, so there we are. All right, cheers.